any company that produces audited financial statements, regardless of how large or small they are, is governed by a consistent set of accounting principles called generally accepted accounting principles, or more commonly known as GAAP. GAAP rules are not laws, instead they provide accounting guidelines. They are often subject to interpretation. Companies strive to ensure they comply with GAAP rules in order for an auditor to attest to sound, accurate financials. Lenders, investors, or anyone that the company wants to ensure they are healthy will require this. While a CCIM is not an accounting expert, they do realize the need to have a basic understanding of how real estate can have an impact on the business of a customer, whether they lease or own. In this segment, we will explore the possible impact of a decision to lease or buy when the user produces audited financial statements. For save a lot, if they choose to purchase the real estate, what assumptions can we make about the financial We assume here there is a lease to use financing. Is why we see such a if that wasn't the case, the mortgage amount would appear as a liability on the balance sheet, and the reduction to cash would be much less since it's only a down payment. Looking at the income statement, remember that this is not an investment property, so there is no income. Since Save a Lot uses this property only for their business, the only impact we show is their cost recovery on the improvements over the period that they own the property. What if Save a Lot chooses to lease? Currently, there is no impact on the balance sheet. The lease is structured as an operating lease. The lease payments are footnoted on the financial statement, but are not recorded on the balance sheet as a liability or long-term obligation. This is one of the main reasons why the rules are changing on how leases appear on financial statements. How do we know that the lease for Save a Lot would be an operating lease? Remember, there are four key criteria that are used to determine whether a lease is classified as operating lease or a capital lease. One of the main tests applicable to real estate is whether the present value of the net lease payments over the term exceed 90% of the fair market value of the space in the lease. The discount rate often used to calculate this present value is the user's incremental borrowing rate. So in this case, using the criteria given for save a lot, According to 90% lease classification criteria, this lease is an operating lease. But notice that the present value on line 4 is less than 90% threshold on line 3. While a CPA should be the one performing these calculations, it's important for you as a practitioner to understand the potential impact of the decision to lease first buy. While most of you advising your clients on the decision to lease or buy won't be doing so as a CPA, your knowledge of some of the important accounting rules may be another objective economic factor that adds to the advice you might choose to provide users.